Hello, this is Olga Yaftic. I'm a fashion designer and Miss Virginia Senior America 2003. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This is Fashion Notes. The dresses continue to play a big part of collections, a trend that took off last season also. Designers built on the sophisticated lady like team with more classic suit in chic different colors. There were silk sheets, navy blue dresses with both neck and classic shirt dresses. Baby doll dresses spotted in many collection. Watch out if this is for you. I personally think I will look absolutely ridiculous in that style. Leggings are everywhere. Shorter hemlines, perhaps to the knee, will be perfect length. With all the short skirts, black or pack tights go wonderfully well. The biggest color trends are navy, sometimes paired with cream and white, but also mixed with black, brown, red, or green. Let me start with Chanel. Karl Lagerfeld begins his collection with mostly black and white, especially suits, tiny bolero, and belted skirts drew attention to the narrow waist. He sprinkled camellia flower and satin bows on organdy colors. He had little petticoat dance dresses and satin sheets. Lagerfeld is the master of reinventing the house signature to today's young woman, and he does it so beautifully. Ralph Lauren has a series of navy jacket in nautical themes. These were paired with classic cleaning pants and shorts or gorgeous skirts in white. He also used lots of eyelet and lace, patchwork jacket, and ballish jeans. They were distinctly Ralph, especially one evening dress made from yard after yard of embroidered tulle was an absolutely show stunner. Carolina Herrera, her suits a favor of the ladies' lunch set. She teamed trousers with tiny knit sweaters, pencil slim skirts with short sleeve blouses, and it looked very fresh, but perhaps not as youthful as expected. She had a fine, uh, fine applique, hand painted raffia belts over chiffon gown, and exquisite embroidery. Platform and wedges are the stylish choice when it comes to footwear for spring. Look for skinny jeans. The skinny, straight, pencil slim cigarette jean is the absolutely must wardrobe for fall. For those of us, let's say, do not have the figure of the supermodel, suggestion is to stick with your favorite pair of jeans and just tuck the flare cut bottoms into the boot. White signals a cleansing of the palette before autumn returns of dark colors. Creative design details keep fabric interesting. Cotton, linen, silk often crushed and crinkle for more texture in day and evening wear. Eyelets add nostalgia to women's apparel and pleats all kinds add flair to skirts, gown, and pants. Sometimes silhouettes are wide, like wide leg and palazzo pants, accented with extra wide belts for extra jazz. Makeup is very soft and translucent with lots of nude colors and complement delicate fabric and look great on everyone. Well, the next time with, with be more interesting news from the runways around the world and now it's time to go shopping. Happy shopping. Now I'm very happy to welcome lovely, beautiful lady. She's a member of the fashion group. She's multi-talented, and I don't know which talent we are going to feature first. <laughs> she does make hats, and uh, this is the first thing that I notice about her, uh, seeing her at the fashion group meetings. Every time I'll be look forward, to see what kind of hat she was wearing. And also, she's an expert in etiquette. Do you think I'm sitting right, like a ladylike? I hope I do, otherwise I'll be critique. Uh, I'm going to ask her many questions, and I hope we have enough time to cover all this 
uh, expertise that she has. Uh, I'm going to ask her, when is it appropriate to wear hats? I hope she doesn't say not on television because I'll be in big trouble. <laughs> and I would like to introduce you, Ms. Randall, uh, Ms. Carol Randall. She's sitting on my left and she's my guest today. And I'm so happy to welcome her. To, so she will tell us all about hats and we are going to have a model. They are going to model her uh, beautiful, beautiful hair, especially in the springtime. Polo match is coming and ladies are really getting dressed up. Welcome to the show. I'm so glad that you came today. And first of all, tell me when is appropriate to wear the hat because, you know, I hope you are not going to say not on television because I'll be in big trouble. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> um, most often we wear hats to church, to weddings, to uh, tea parties, sometimes to afternoon luncheons. Of course, we do see hats all the time at horse races at the Derby, at the Ascot, polo. at the Freakness, and the Polo. Right. Um, so, uh, do we want to see some of the hats that yes, I Yes, maybe I'll certainly see the hats, absolutely. I personally started wearing hats when I, when I was in high school, and that was a few years <coughs> ago. I just tell you, big lie. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> And, uh, you know, since that time, uh, you know, I always do wear, you know, because of different reasons. I think, first of all, they look stylish. Uh, second of all, um, it's, uh, you know, sometimes you need them, you know, because it's cold outside and when it's hot exactly. outside, you, you are co uh, uh, covered because of the elements. But at the same time, they look stylish. And always, if somebody wears a hat, I think you get more attention than one they don't even. And I think that hats are very important, but unfortunately, very many people do not wear hats. I remember going with my mother to the uh, millinery salon. They don't exist anymore, do they? No, there's very, very few. And I was so and fascinated. They cut them back yeah. in the department stores. They're gotten I smaller. I know the mil minimum. I remember my mother was um, trying on hat, and they custom made you know, to you and you know head, and then you go for fitting, and then finally you have a final product. But, you know, I always, you know, I wish I learned that, you know, craft when I was watching, but I remember being very fascinated with, you know, the, the hats all, all my life. And uh, now you're going to see most beautiful hats that she's made. She does a custom, of course, you know, you know because now it's a season for uh, beautiful big hats. People go to polo matches and horse races and they would like to show off. So can we have a model, please, to show us the first uh, beautiful, uh, then you explain, you know, this um, hat. What do you think about it? What, you know, this is a straw, isn't it? This is a straw, and it's, it's perfect for uh, what you just said, polo. It's perfect for um, just a, a summer type of garden party. Uh, um, a wedding at the English countryside. This is the type of hat that you, very flattering, and it can be it worn for uh, so many different occasions. It being large, of course, you want to have the right occasion for it. But um, it is um, very, very, And very this flattering. is neutral color that can go really with any mm -hmm. color dress, too, which is very important. And when, when do you, you know, wear the hat? You know, is there any rules that you, you know, or it, it is some, something like, you know, in the evening, they said after 5 o'clock. Is this true or is this the same like it used to be with white? You don't wear white before Labor Day and this is changed. Is it now, you know, change with the hats or is it the same rule? Do you know, it has changed. It, it's changing a little, but still, I like to go with the rules. And that is, first of all, as you have so beautifully today, a lady wears a hat, she leaves it on. When she goes out, she does not remove her hat. Uh, of course, a man in protocol right. removes his hat, but a lady leaves her hat on. Uh, also, a lady doesn't. It's really not appropriate to wear a real big hat in the evening. Mm -hmm. The smaller, smaller, evening like hats an evening, is like a, you know, velvety for yes. the winter and time. And the one with the pretty veil and uh -huh. the bows. So many of the spring collections have hair treatments uh, for little pieces of flowers and bows and things. So this type of hat 
is it's much acceptable. more pro appropriate for evening. Uh -huh. um, the bigger ones are, are more or less for the special occasions in the daytime. And um, remember that it, it's, uh, it's an attitude. When you wear a hat, you have to have the right attitude. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, it's the attitude of whether I want to be sophisticated or I want to be whimsical sporty or, or uh, sporty or chic. Or, uh, but we want to develop that attitude when we wear a hat and be very confident. Uh -huh. Can we see another hat, please? I think she's ready. It's another black straw. It's a so striking. And I think with the bow on the back and it... Beautiful, absolutely. I think I think this hat. This uh, looks like a the, patent leather, doesn't it? Yes, it does, and I think that will suit just about anybody. Because some people said I'm not a hat person, but you just have to find the right, you know, mm -hmm. style of hat. And I think everybody could be a hat person if you find your style, because there is a style for everybody. And, you know, you shouldn't say I'm not a hat person. You can wear a hat. But, you know, you have to find your style. Right. Otherwise, And you one know, of the things that women do, and a lot of the hat designers get very upset about it, is women try to wear hats on the back of their head rather than the crown. As you and I both know that are hat lovers, you don't put the hat on the back of your head. Uh, because it does, it's not like a baseball. Yes, ball? they just put oh, it, they yes. like to have their hair from the showing in the front right. and the hat tossed in the back of their head. And for a young girl, that might oh, yeah. be whimsical. For the young kids, sure, but know, it's but not a know. serious way to wear a hat. No, I don't and think it, and so. most hat designers that put. I remember when I first met Frank Olive. Uh huh. He was the first one to demonstrate to me that too many women did not wear their hats right, and uh, so this is why. I, I really am a stickler at putting hats on in the right place on the crown of the head. Okay, is she ready? Let me see. Now oh, this is this a sporty, is like a sporty, a sporty mm -hmm. style. When it's too hot outside, perhaps to, it's sunny and it's just good thing to have something like that to protect you from the you know hot it sun. It does. It does, and, and you it know, still looks stylish. Yes. You know? We still are very much, well, we are more and more very aware of the UVA rays and um, more people wear hats. Oh, yeah. All in, you know, just to really, when they come off of a beach or at any resort, they put hats on to protect their face. Yeah, to protect the skin, which is mm -hmm. very important. Thank and you. And they're this all very lovely. stylish as well. Oh, yes, yes, of course. So. You know, it could be, you know, look very dressy too at the same time. Um, you know, and the colors are absolutely, you know, uh, limitless you can wear. Especially, I think, this season are very uh, um, in, like, a neutral colors, like a beiges and nude Natural. colors. So you can really wear it with, with any color mm -hmm. dress and, and nude, you know, and nude accessories. And, you know, I have found, uh, particularly in the last two or three years, we don't try to do match-match as much as we used yes, to. Yes, absolutely. So that we to. can throw on a kind of even a, a red hat with a, with a nice outfit, and it, it's very striking uh, if, if it's worn with black and white or if it's worn with plain white. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't do everything Everything matching. matching, yeah. Oh, absolutely. It used to be remembered that you had the shoes and bags should match. Of course, right. this has changed. This has changed, exactly. It's not a true anymore. You know, it could be just one very striking piece, another piece could be very striking. Right. Can we see another? Um, yes, so this can be a real fashion act accent here oh, with yeah. the black and black white. Black and white is mm -hmm. always, always, you know, classic color and it's all, you know, suitable for any occasion. Right. And also, you know, you can wear this hat year round just about because it's a felt, it's more fallish, but you know, you can, you know, wear it in spring and in the fall too. It's very pretty with a pretty white bow and a little accent in the a flower. It's a very, very nice. Thank you very much. You are really very um, styly, stylish hats you make, and oh, also, she, you know, she makes um, custom, you know, people call her and said, I'm wearing, you know, such a, you know, such a dress, and I would like to have it a huge hat to wear the polo, which is this year. The right, polo is John, coming up, and coming she's going to come out with a big polo hat oh, there. Yeah. We have, I'm uh, co-chairing a polo match coming uh -huh. up in uh, June 10th, Saturday, June 10th. It's going to be at a private, beautiful private estate 
in uh, the Plains, Plains. Virginia. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will be, um, it, it's, it's, uh, it's the honorary chairperson and our chairpersons are uh, His Excellency, the Ambassador of Argentina. Uh -huh. and, and the his, match is and between wife, Argentina and, the match, and, and, and yes. Virginia? It's, it's and, uh, between Argentina and USA. And USA, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, but this is in Virginia. This it's is in Virginia. So if you want... Well, can, let me say the polo it, hat. Wow, there's, that's here's a, a beautiful polo hat. That's really, this is going to be stunner when you go to the polo game. I'm sure you'll... You'll get attention wearing this hat. It's also straw with a pretty uh, flower in two different colors. And it can complement absolutely any dress. Yes, this could go with any flowing dress because after the polo, we're having a, um, reception. a, a, a reception, a tango party. Oh, wow. And it's really um, beautiful. So if you happen to be interested in either purchasing tickets or, or sponsorship, Contact uh, Leslie Concher at, uh, in, at NRH, which is www.nrhrehebrehab.org. Any, any more hats? We would like to wear it to the polo. And the polo number to reach Leslie is 202-877-1781 if you're interested in attending. We would love to see uh, you attend. Do we have any more hats? We've got like lots to... of hats. Okay, let's see. I um, cannot wait because they're kind of looking hats. to see which one we like. Yes, because here we have to I cover think, so many things. I think our model Lindsay likes this smaller one, which is very pretty and soft oh, and well, elegant. Well, she'll be on good her. in any hat. And she's you know. a bright. It's, it helps when you're young and tall and beautiful. <laughs> doesn't it? Doesn't she doesn't, it? doesn't need much. She Whatever doesn't she put need. on it to look beautiful. I know. But this is very pretty. That's Thank very you, pretty. Leslie. I would her. like you to see more of the hats, you know, the, they're suitable for many occasions. And uh, uh, I think she has one. Which this is, is a real whimsical one that she's coming uh -huh. out with that I this did. Is very, it has very a little bit of everything on it. It yeah, has uh, feathers and flowers and uh -huh. uh, a little bit of tool. And so she's got... Uh, She's got something that she can kind of, this is definitely a, um, a derby hat, uh, um, a stakes race definitely hat or she a will polo. Be, she will be noticed. Yes, you know, she, will be she, noticed, she will be she? noticed. You know, yes. her arrival mm -hmm. will be noticed at mm -hmm. uh, any, you know, occasion that she will be wearing this beautiful hat. It is. It does have a lot of things. It's got Mary. lots of things. Lots Would of you things. ever think of putting flowers and feathers all well, together? No, but this is a really good <laughs> idea. Why not? The more fancy, the better. Yes. It's, it's very, very stunning. Oh, yeah. This is the most interesting hat. I love it. And you don't see this in the store, you know. You, it's you very hard to you know, find very pr you know, real pretty no, hats. No, not and hats elaborate. Of, you know, they hats have of a, quality. No, you, no, no you absolutely. Really don't. And um, you know, do we have more hats? Oh, we have a. I think we're. I think we're going to do this pretty red one. That is the newer look. Oh, this is a new thing for fall new. that she she um, designed, and uh, this is a big hat with a beautiful felt felt and a mohair. Yeah. I think something you like that. You want to turn some of it back a little. I think there you go. It's hard for that's oh. better. Uh, that's okay. perfect. So we can see a little of your face there. This is one of the biggest hats you ever see. I mean, yeah, I can order this one because I don't make it. It's 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 just, and it's. I worn it to uh, luncheons, and it's it's um, very very eye catching. But it this is. is a fun hat. It doesn't need any any you know any trims or this is like enough for being just a big hat. Just so a big hat, and you can turn it. She can uh, she can mold she can, that. Uh, she uh -huh. can turn it back and she can mold it some more. I see. Okay. And it comes in straw now. I just uh, in, this, in this style. This particular style comes in straw. And can you, you also turn it? Turn it. Turn it. You oh. can see it in the magazines. It it is just. A I like the velvet. New you know, I like the velvet period, but la beautiful. velvet hats, I think, are very soft and it's something oh, you so know, interesting and elegant about it. They're very you elegant. Know, especially this is a striking, striking color. Do you make it in different colors? This style? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's so made people can say, well, "I would like a pink," let's say, yeah. or you yeah. know, any color. I have a purple one that's very purple. pretty too. Oh, mm -hmm. is it like a deep purple? Deep purple. 
Oh yeah, deep, purple deeper. is a royalty color, you know. Right. So it if is you are a ro royalty, it is a royal is color. You. It is a royal because color. Because it used to be the royals only wore purple, and yeah. uh, you know. Well, that reminds me, you know, when you see many of our first ladies go to funerals in other countries, they usually always they wear, wear a hat. because you know the people wear hats here. They wear hats. Here. They don't as much here. I always wear hats to funerals, and many of the people I know. But yeah, but you will many. find first ladies uh, most definitely are, tend to wear hats at funerals, uh, and uh, it's one of the things that we really think. In in Europe, it, it, it's oh, yes. much more important to yes, wear. It's very more the formal. times are are for people to wear hats at, at weddings and funerals and occasions such as occasions. that. Occasions. So uh -huh. it is proper, proper etiquette to do that. Absolutely. So we don't have, do we have one more hat? Let's see, one more hat, the pink one, very pretty pink. Oh, this is a, like a so spring color, like a Easter, spring, uh, uh, weddings, uh, like a special occasion, of course, polo too. It's, it's just, just beautiful, you know. It, very big brim and flower and bow on the side. It's so beautiful and elegant and, and you know this color is very becoming and it's good on anybody this color. It's so you know good on your face. It looks look fantastic. Thank you very much. It, it looks good. Well not just that this my guest is not just making you know beautiful hats. She's an etiquette expert too. And as I said earlier, and you know, ask you, do I sit right? Because I don't want to be critique, you know, that I'm not sitting like a lady like, because she's an expert also, and she teaches, uh, has a classes that teaches diplomatic people also, you know, how to, uh, you know, uh, greet people, how to look proper, how to, and also she does also etiquette on little gadgets that we have, we'll tell you later. But first of all, she would like, you know, to sh show you the um, thing, you know, uh, the dinner table, how the, it's, it's uh, supposed to be set. The dinner table with three glasses and all these, um, silverware that she put for you to see and you tell us briefly how you know me are going to do it to look proper well first of all when you we talk we went from looking at hats yes i know but you're so we talented at you looking know, at hats you don't know what to, to do first to thinking in terms of uh, let's say you go to a wedding with a beautiful hat on mm -hmm. and one of the things you want to remember is at a wedding not only do you want to have the proper introductions with, yeah, how with to meet people, people. had to meet uh -huh. and greet people. But you also want, it's important for your table manners to give that very good Absolutely. impression as well. So after you have uh, gone and to uh, around and introduced yourself at in the table for um, a wedding party, then you want to sit down and first thing you do when you sit down, let's say someone pulls the chair back for you, then you're going to pull, you're going to approach the you chair. Hope, you hope you have a gentleman to pull the chair for yes, you. Yes, we hope so. And <laughs> you will approach the chair from the left, and then of course you're going to put your napkin Napkins. across your lap. So when you put your napkin across your lap, you're not going to unfold it all the way like this, like they do many so often in a restaurant. You're just going to fold it across your lap. So that when you need it, you'll be able uh-huh and use Great. it at any okay. time remember that it's also, very important you know we learn lots of things today also um, this as you can see is your menu card uh -huh. and that can be placed in many different areas is so this necessary or this is just for a, like a, you know weddings or very formal occasion but when you have a dinner party do you think it's necessary you know to have a menu for the guest or not I always think, I always think it's very nice, particularly if you have several courses, mm -hmm. because so you don't want the guests to be surprised with the right, dishes. Right. <laughs> and anything, if they don't like something, they can excuse earlier. Yes. <laughs> Any, anytime it's over eight guests, uh -huh. it's nice to have a place card. Uh -huh, with the names. Yeah. And with the names. And it's nice to have uh, the menu card. It's not, sometimes you can just do one menu card and uh -huh, have for the that whole table. On the, for the whole table. Uh -huh. But the place to put the menu of card is on the 
the uh -huh. left side. And since we don't have a lot of time to go through everything, no. everyone knows we work towards the dish. And the one thing we did want to kind of uh, kind of display a little bit, so many people when they eat soup, we think, oh my goodness, I don't want to eat soup, it might be. Uh, so remember that when you eat soup, you're going to dish the soup away from you, away from you. We always say out, out to sea, and then come up and sip from the side, your spoon. Mm -hmm. And when you're finished, of course, everything would go to the right. right so they can, you know, that is the up. finish so they can. And remember when serving, it's so easy, it's so fluent to serve from the left to the to right. The right. Uh -huh. And everything is removed from the right. All the glasses are poured from the right. Uh -huh. um, so it's easy that way. Now, the other, other thing, you ever go to parties and you see how people, and even at a dinner party, see how people hold their glasses, their mm -hmm. wine glasses. So there is I certain I have to rules. cut you. I'm sorry, Mia, running out of time. I would like to thank you very much for coming today. I'm sure we have to, you know, come back and, you know, cover more, more topics. And uh, thank you very much for coming. And also, thank you very, very much for watching today. Till next time, this is Olga Yafsis reporting for Fashion Notes. And I hope you learned um, lots of things today with my beautiful guest that she had, you know, expertise in many areas. And I hope you enjoy her beautiful hats. They're absolutely lovely. And I hope you go to Polo and all these places with a beautiful hat, which really is something exciting to wear, I think, and um, thank you again so much.